Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, wireless LAN controllers, WLC, and how to use them to control lightweight access points on Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's dive right into it. Um, the first question you may be asking yourself is why don't I use just heavyweight access points and configure them uh, individually? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You don't do that because uh, it's really time consuming and uh, you don't want to waste uh, time and resources on, uh, on on replicating configurations by hand. You want to do things fast and you want to automate as much things as you can. So we're just going to use this WLC equipment in order to centralize our configuration and don't have to replicate them and change every AB individually each time we have to uh, say uh, change the um, change the passcode, for example. So, um, first thing we're gonna do is uh, well, not click on this and search for a CLI because there isn't any. Uh, we're gonna have to use this administrator's PC I just put here in order to do this. Uh, and the first thing we have to do is to configure an IP address, which will be one nine two one six eight dot one dot two. Well, whatever here, but one one here is important because the subnet mask is uh, well defined here. Uh, you can't access this device from a different network than the one he is on, and by default, uh, this is the one it's using. So, now uh, that we are configured this, we can just go to our web browser and say 192.168.1.1. And after a few loading time, uh, in which you will see that the probes are getting mad here, uh, well, I'm just going to skip the, the loading time. Okay, after a few loading time, we can uh, see that uh, we're asked to um, create our admin account, so let's do this. Uh, we're just going to say admin. Um, the admin password is going to be Cisco123. Start. And here we have our first configuration options. Uh, my new system is going to be WLC. Management IP address is going to be 192.168.10.1 and 255255. 255.0 default gateway we have to set it but well doesn't really matter okay and next uh, we now can think configure our first uh, wireless networks so I'm just going to do the employee one uh, we're going to call it enterprise uh, security is fine passphrase is going to be um, one two three four five six seven eight really strong passphrase next and next here we can review our configuration so it seems okay apply and here we are uh, warned that it's going to reboot now don't uh, be fooled by this loading stuff uh, actually it's not doing anything because uh, as we've just mentioned the server is restarting so uh, it's it's pointless to stay on on this screen expecting anything to happen because it won't we just can exit out of the web browser and <clears throat> Uh, change our IP configuration to be uh, in the subnet uh, we just defined. So it's going to be 10.2 instead of 1.2, and here it's not 240 anymore, it's 255. Uh, the food gateway, yeah, why not? All right. Um, next, we can go back to our web browser and try to access our uh, controller again 192.168.10.1 that's one now. And here we have a server reset connection, and that's because now we have to access it through HTTPS. So we can click go, and we have here our username and password prompt. I'm just going to set admin and Cisco123. Login. And after a few waiting time, we have our admin panel where we can access uh, different options, but we'll get on that later. So, next thing we didn't do yet is just power on I, our core switch, which is pretty important. And we're going to do the same for the APs. Just like that. Perfect. Uh, this is going to boot up. Yeah, here we have the green probes. So, um, the next step is going to be to configure a, our DHCP server. And that's because uh, actually these, uh, these lightweight access points don't have any ID that there is a, a wireless LAN controller. So you're going to have to say them through the HTTP that, hey guys, the wireless LAN controller has this IP address and just connect to it to get configurations. So uh, in the HTTP, well, first we're going to set an IP address, right? otherwise it won't be able to respond. Uh, five, perfect. 
and services the HTTP we can get uh, well we should get away why not and here we can reserve the 10 first addresses for our configurations and that's pretty okay instead the WLC address here is really important you have to say 192.168 that um, then that one which will be obviously uh, the address of this one here once it's done you can hit save and turn on the service uh, well that's it just accelerate a bit the time and uh, then we can uh, ask for a new DHCP lease by clicking here on the access point and here we obtain a, a given IPv4 address uh, so it's perfect in WLC we can see that we have the, the right IP address uh, as a primary controller here it's basically the same Oops, nope, we didn't ask for these, so obviously it didn't work yet. But now, here is our primary controller. Uh, once it's done, well, we should be able to see them equipments in controller. No, in wireless. And here we have a list where we have our two access points, which have the, the, the same names here. And what's going to be possible to do now is going to VLAN <coughs> and go in AP groups. Here we have our VLAN Enterprise we did at the beginning, default group, and then, uh, well, my interface, I don't know why it's kind of messed up, but uh, I'm guessing that Cisco Package Tracer has still some bugs, but the idea is here, you should have um, a header instead of this with a menu, we can click on these different options. We're gonna go to AP and, um, well, click on these, uh, and click Add APs. And two, uh, click on these this boxes too, but I, I'm not sure what I'm doing because I, I can't read here. Add APs to regroup and APs to include the group. Well, the idea is you, you set every IP in the in the group, in the default group. Uh, here we have the default group name, and this default group is going to be the one where the uh, enterprise network is served. So uh, once we have done this, we can, I can close this and just um, configure this to, um, well, the credential we use so it's wpa2 psk as we just saw and it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight the ssid as we saw is enterprise and if we hit enter well um it it, it could have took the other ap but you know it's, it's back at tracer stuff so, so it does whatever it wants we can do the same on the other cell <clears throat> uh well a zero enterprise and WPA to PSK, all right? After a few time, yeah, all right. Same same access points. You know that they're not very smart. They don't look at the location, but it's a logical workspace, so it's it's rather logic. But uh, on this on the PC here, uh, it's going to be a bit different because we don't have an a Wi-Fi antenna yet, so we're going to have to remove this port. Oh, shut down the PC first, then remove the port, <clears throat> and then you can just set the antenna and turn it back on. From here we can access the wireless zero interface and do the same trick as before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fine. And SSID Enterprise. Ah, this one is okay to connect on this. Well, perfect. Well, um, that's pretty much it for this video. As you may have noticed, this was my first one, so well, sorry for the French accent, I'm gonna get better this time. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, hit subscribe, <laughs> I'm getting a real YouTuber here, and uh, see you next time for the next video.